I'm going to take you to a place, and as you know, you can hear, it is very loud out here now. This, you can see, didn't have a highway through here. A long time ago, back in 94, when I was out here, and I first found this place, you'd come out here and you'd be far away from everything. The city is way out that way, but out here, nobody come out here. But they built this little freeway through here. You can see, and we have an airport over here. And all this is gonna probably be in houses. It won't be long now. And this area, there used to be a Zen retreat, will be covered with noisy people. But there's a few areas up here I wanted to show you that I found things. Anyway, we'll get to looking at them. It's up in these hills right up here. Right up here, we'll go up and take a look before, like I say, before they encroach in all the housing and everything takes over. It's kind of sad. But, you know, stuff has to move on, I guess. But anyway, let's get to finding some stuff. So there's a lot of quartz, tumbled quartz up here. And anyway, most of it, I think, is uh, stained with a, kind of a, a rust color. But anyway, there's, like I say, at one time, all these uh, little uh, quartz crystals or whatever got tumbled in the water action. Right here, you can see them. And I think right here, I'll show you, we'll find more of them, but I think this is one of the first ones I was telling you about. Up here you can find uh, uh, hematite. Anyway, this one's just a little guy, but there's bigger pieces. And when you pick them up, they're a lot heavier than the surrounding rocks. It's just kind of weird. It's like a little piece of lead. Anyway, you can see there's another piece over here. Uh, well, it's not that great. All right, we'll see if we can find some bigger ones. There's another piece right here. Let me show you. This one's actually getting kind of a sheen of hematite. You look on the ground, you can see as we go. There's a piece right there. Right here. That one's not as heavy, but it has that kind of like, uh, they have that reddish color or whatever. Yeah, look. A freshly dug hole by an animal of some sort. All right, let's keep on looking. See if we can find a bigger piece. Wow, he went to town. Look at that. He covered up, he dug holes, and he covered up, and then he was over here. That's his new, new den. All right. All right, let's see. A little smaller piece right there. We'll find bigger pieces, but anyway, let's continue on. Maybe you can hike with me, and you can see them as I see them. There's a piece right there. I think they get more as we get up on the hill here, what I remember. Like I say, I found this in 94, so it's been a few years since I've been up here. Let's see, there's another little teeny pieces. They're just little pieces that we're finding right now. But still, I'm gonna take some back so I have a few samples to give away. See, now they're getting more and more. There's another one right there. There's another one right here, tucked away. And just walk around. You can see them. You can tell the, the color of them. Oh, check out that one right there. That's a sliver. All right. 
Okay, I'll turn it off for a second. There is a bigger piece right there. Right here, I've been finding the, anyway, the smaller pieces. Where they're all the scattered through here. That's not one. That's some type of quartz. There's a the piece right there. Right under here. You know, here's one. Kind of a cool. You look at the kind of the pattern on it. Kind of cool. I think we're going to see a lot more up in this area here. There's a little piece right there. Yeah, see? starting to get a few more into here here's another rusty colored one look at that a little round one that's kind of cool look at that tip on it uh, look at it in the camera a little dew drop all right Here's a bigger piece. Like I say, they seem like they're getting more and more up in here. There's a big chunks right here. Put my backpack down, I'll show you. Right there. They all have like kind of a sheen on them. And I'm sure it's that, like I say, if you polished it up, it'd be just that black metallic hematite yeah, there's lots of it there's another one right here another piece getting more and more there's one right there I remember a long time ago when I found it I thought possibly these were meteorites <laughs> that's what I thought in my head Anyway, but it took a, quite a while later that people were like, oh no, that's a hematite. Here's another site that has a few more. Got one right here. And you got one right there. And then right over here. They, like I say, they're heavy, pretty heavy. Continue on. I just found a huge piece right here. One of these days I might have to get me a rock polisher and run these through it. But yeah, you can see them, they're all over the ground. And then uh, try to see if I can get that uh, really silver looking thing. Oh, there's a big, huge one right there, too. You see it with me right here? Poking out of the ground. That's a monster one. See what I mean? The, how they're forming. And they're heavy. They're like a little saucer. Anyway, we're going to load up the backpack with them. Save them from the construction that's probably going to happen in this area. There is a kind of a circular one right here check out this one hematite and then a little flat one right next to it another little smaller not as quite as circular right there my backpack is getting heavy now we're starting to see feel a little bit of rain trying to come down but we live low enough that we don't probably not gonna see snow unless it gets colder tonight but anyway all right I'm gonna turn this off 
Well, I think I'm going to call it. The rain's starting to set in. But anyway, we'll pick up a few as we're heading out. But anyway, yeah. It's supposed to be uh, snowing up in the higher elevations, but we're down the lower, so we're we're getting the rain. But yeah, it's definitely it's definitely setting in. I think it's time to head back to the car. I'll come up here another time. I got a bunch of them in my backpack anyway. I can show you. And not, I think I've shown you quite a few as we're picking them up. But and there's another little piece right there. Anyway, we'll pick up as we're going smaller pieces right there as the rain starts to come down and you can see out in the distance there is some snow on these mountains so there's a possibility of snow coming down here but yeah, you can see all the little white quartz crystals on the ground all tumbled and then heading back take out let's check out that it's kind of a cool pattern on that rock. Anyway, but it is definitely starting to come down. Kind of funny, but I came back to the truck and I've been waiting here. Well, actually, I'd head down the road. I was going to call it a day. But as you can see, it is actually cleared up. We're going to go back out up in those hills up that way and see what we saw. Well, at least what I saw back in 94 up there. There's a lot of cool different types of rocks. Anyway, I've loaded all my hematite on the floor of the truck. Anyway, so we have more space in the backpack. Once again, we're back at it again. Two times in one day. But the rain has kind of uh, skirted by. So... It looks like for a while, at least, we'll be able to hike without a bunch of rain. But we're gonna get away a little ways from the, this little new little freeway they put in. Kind of stupid. But you need to get people around. Anyway, we're gonna head up here. All right, stand by. Somebody dropped something right here. Oh, we seem to find something. Anyway, let's look at it. It looks like a, uh, one of those uh, match containers or whatever. Let's see if I can zoom out. There you go. And we'll see what's in it. What did somebody lose? It has a rattle in there. Oh, look. A little small rock. It looked like a, a note in there. Let's see if I can pull that out with one hand. It is a note. Let's see what they had to say. All right, stand by just a second. I'm not exactly sure if this is how I'm supposed to be signing in a little registry and then put it back. But yeah, it's got a bunch of a uh, bunch of people have wrote on this little thing and uh, anyway apparently you're supposed to put it back into the little thing and sign your name but I don't have a pen because I don't usually hike with pens well we are not just gonna set it where we found it for the easy lazy hikers we'll take it up and we're gonna hide it somewhere maybe up on that cliff up there make it a little bit more of a challenge for people and hopefully people unlike me travel around with their pen or their pencil in their pocket so they can sign one of these things but that is not me anyway all right let's head we're gonna go up that way and then along the cliff line or somewhere that way anyway stand by I love love the the textures and the different uh, colors that you see. You have the sand, and then you go up into like almost like a clay. But how pretty! And there's a little bit of quartz right there on the ground. With the rain, it makes it really dramatic. So I think I'm going to have to go back into hematite 
picking up mode. I threw a bunch of it in the, the car, but you can't have too much of it. But yeah, you look at it. <laughs> That's why I thought it kind of looks like a like a worn like meteorite type thing. When I was first finding these, being how heavy they are, that's where I was like kind of thinking, huh, could it be a meteorite? Anyway, there's another piece right there. But the ones that are up on top are starting to get that uh, kind of a silver sheen to it. All right. Walk with me as we look around. There's a bigger piece right up there. You can see, see that one right there? It's kind of poking out of the ground right in here. There's a bunch of it up in these. See, there's another one. Piece of that little shine on it. Silvery shine. Yeah, my backpack was actually getting quite heavy when I was heading back. So I unloaded a bunch of it. Yeah, there's so much of it up here. Look, it's all poking out of this orange, orange dirt right here. Quite a bit. All right. Here's a little treasure trove of them. Look at these, right here. A bunch of hematite. all those in my backpack yeah like I say in this area there's quite a bit of it funny bit the hematite doesn't seem to like this rock it really likes that over there the lighter with the the sandstone a little uh, oh, uh, orange sand anyway but yeah not so much mm -hmm. In this area, and we're gonna go up that way again. It's amazing. You get a little bit back, tucked away back here, and even though you have the freeway there you know, that's pushing through, it's not as loud. I'll check out uh, massive rocks right from the stream. I know you can kind of he hear it echo off the go off the cliff listen it's actually kind of nice just the right temperature for almost Christmas being anyway I like it that the rain stopped here's some little bit of gypsum We're getting into the mudstone where it has the water ripples. We have tons of that here. You can kind of see it on this here as it's slowly breaking out of the, the hillside. There's some more of that gypsum, a little line of it right here. I used to couple places that you can get it here that you can it's in better quality that you can actually carve but check out this little seam going up there this one's more like I say it's more uh, has the dirt in it whereas the other some other areas where it's just clean anyway, okay let's continue on up this way it look kind of a yellowy color and you can see the gypsum line so let's go up there and take a look at it okay, this one i'll kind of show you some of the seams where the gypsum's coming through right here like the, in the cracks and the fissures. All right, let's go up further. 
I don't know why it is, but for some reason, I really like these type of rocks, even though it looks like concrete. It just has a cool look to it. It's all the little quartz crystals. And anyway, there's, I think up here, or I remember back in 94, there's uh, bigger pieces of it. And I can see more of the water ripple rock. as you want it's just all over here <clears throat> this one's kind of like a really uh, like mud it's uh, anyway not as uh, durable as some of the pieces I've got that are uh, actual sandstone anyway maybe we'll go this way for a second then we'll head back take a look in here see all the different layers over time, deposited by water. That's kind of a cool, wouldn't that be nice to have? That big old slab right there. See in our area, there's actually uh, dinosaur footprints. So any of these rocks, if you uh, looked and you, you could probably find more areas that have uh, little footprints. But anyway, we will continue on. I think I'm gonna head back this way. Kind of an interesting pattern. Look like uh, mud cracks. Maybe ancient, like uh, you know how the clay cups. Anyway, this is just leftovers from they got buried over. Anyway. Oh, here we go up to more of that rock I like. Look, there's a little uh, iron seam through it. All kinds of like, kind of cool little rocks in there. Big old uh, washed little uh, bed of a stream is what it is. Here's a whole bunch of those little water ripple stones. Check out that one's a nice pattern. Look at that. You got more of them up here. Like a little wash, little washboard. Some more of that kind of uh, like mud cracked stone. And you get up here. Check out that swirl. And then more of this. Like I say, I'd love to have some pieces of that in my yard. That is just cool. That one's kind of cool. Kind of a two tone. Starting to weather away. Different types of deposits on there. I feel a little rain starting to poke up. Starting to maybe come down. Check out how green that is, that moss on there. That's kind of cool with the backdrop. Makes a really pretty picture. Yeah, a long time ago, back in 94, earlier, there used to be a little house there, and that was it. There was no road here, no uh, airport over here, no freeway went through there. And so when you were sitting out here, you had this little dirt road down here, and nobody had really side-by-sides or any of that type of stuff, so nobody would come out here. And you'd be sitting out here, and I remember I'd get off work, at a uh, oh, uh, screen printing place in town. I come out here at, at, uh, later in the evening 
I'd just be up hiking and you would not hear a thing, it's just quiet. But everything, you can see it's all just moving in. Look all those houses over there. Slowly moving this way. I must be getting old. <laughs> when you remember a time, there was no freeway here. Soon there'll be Mavericks and all kinds of convenience stores and houses here. Kind of sad. <laughs> The next wave of rain that will possibly turn into snow is starting to come in. Time to call it a day. <laughs> bye bye until we see you again. I got plenty of stuff. I just wanted to see if that uh, if it was really hematite. I'm guessing it was hematite, but it is. Anyway, you can see it's actually getting a pretty good shine on there. I've got this whole bucket that I got today. I'm going to look at them. Big old pieces of it. Some are like just round, you know. This is like the biggest piece I got. It is heavy. This one I've got today. And there's tons of it over there. Now there's another big one. 